So now let's work on this mini cards, right? Okay. So let's start coding without wasting any time. Okay. So let's create a, a component in here and we'll give it a name of mini card C A R D dot J S like so. We will copy uh, some lines. Let's say these two lines. Control C and we will paste it in here. Control V. Okay. Yeah. And let's create here const mini card C A R D and let's assign this to an arrow function and we will export this as a default T E F A U L T mini card like so and then we can return from here a jsx and let's return a view uh, not like this a view uh, we should be capital in here my bad like so inside this view we will again have an image right so again let's copy that right in this card component this image right Control C to save a little bit time, right? Okay. Ah, we forgot to copy the self-closing tag. Okay. Now oh, we need to change. Uh, we don't need to give this width to the whole hundred percent. Instead, we only need is the width of forty-five percent. Let's say forty-five percent of our screen, and height will be let's say hundred. We'll see how things look, right? Okay. Yeah. Now after that we will have a we will have text component right we will have two text but we need to put that inside another view because we will be aligning this image and this view row wise right so that is why we are putting text in this separate view in here so let's uh, write here text again so I think again we need to restrict the text right so let's give this a uh, text uh, let's write here random text let's say this is a amazing amazing type uh, amazing c o u r s -E, like so uh, we'll be adding a little style to this text right and let's say it will first will be font size we'll be making it let's say 15 and we'll be giving this a width right so again we'll be making use of dimension because Sometime this is little bit buggy right the percentage right T E E D I M E N dimensions So we are pulling that dimension from react native right here. We can get uh, the Screen right and here we can get the width of that And uh, we can half the width of that right okay like so Yeah and now here we can just again make this an e -level -L -I -P ellipse mode and this will be a tail so we should be able to see the dots if the text overflows right and here we can restrict the number of lines to just two or maybe we can make three right because this time we have this a very uh, uh here we can see we have this three right Three line of text right then we are able to see this dot right so we can restrict it to three lines okay yeah i think this is it for now oh we need a one more text in here text component uh not this uh t should be capital okay inside this let's create uh let's put let's say uh c o d r s never quit and we will give uh, this a style right in style will be let's say font size font size of let's say 12 like so uh, i think this should look beautiful but you know we need to align this to row wise this and this view row wise right so instead here we can give a style and we can change the default direction right flex direction and this will be row for now let's see how things looks right so let's go to this uh, screen right when this views end let's minimize this now here we can use our mini card 
so we need to import that first so we need to import our mini card c a r d from i think dot dot slash yeah dot dot slash components dot slash mini card like so and here we can put this mini card mini card mini card and self close it let's save this again let's have a look on our emulator oh i think uh, yeah it is correct yeah here we can see we have this card it is looking beautiful right it is looking way beautiful but we need to give little bit margin let's have a look on this origin we original card has a lot of margin in between them right so let's give this little bit margin right okay so where is our mini card we will give a uh, let's say margin m a r g i n margin right margin of let's say 10 now let's have a look now uh, we need to put couple of more card in order to see uh, we can give this a little bit uh, margin to this text as well right yeah or maybe we can add a padding to this view from the left side okay so where is our view I just open this up we can add this view a little padding right as T Y L E style here we can add padding from the left and let's say padding will be 7 let's see how it looks like uh, yeah it is looking decent now okay yeah and uh, now I will be what I will be doing is where is our search screen this one uh, I will copy this couple of times let's see how things looks right so it is looking beautiful but one thing which is I am not like this is have a uh, too much of the margin right this card has margin bottom and this card has margin top as well so we need to remove one right so what we can do uh, in this mini card uh, I can overwrite margin bottom M A R G I N B O D -T, T bottom U -T, T on bottom and uh, to zero right let's have a look now okay now it is looking beautiful right it is looking beautiful I think we can increase little bit size of this right let's say 220 let's save this uh, 20 is too much yeah 20 is too much no uh, actually what was the size it was let's make it 17 right okay yeah it is now it is decent right okay now let's uh, try to increase the uh, this content right so I will put random uh, words without looking into my keyboard let's save this and uh, it is restricted to three lines right let's put some more I am just typing whatever uh, my key my hands are catching without looking onto my keyboard okay so we have this dots here now visible okay it is looking beautiful so we should put this inside the scroll view right this mini card so we are importing this scroll view so that we should be able to scroll if this ser scroll view so that uh, when we have enough of the mini cards then we should be able to scroll right okay so we'll duplicate this mini cards now right let's see if we are able to scroll and we are able to scroll right so don't worry uh, as of now because we'll be making use of flat list and we don't need this scroll view right we'll be making use of flat list once we uh, you we will be using an a, a youtube api then we'll be making use of flat list right okay instead of rendering this mapping over this cards right so right now we are just focusing on ui that is why we are using this way but we will be changing this logic very soon okay so i think we are done with that maybe in next video we should add navigation right we should able to we should be able to navigate between the screen right okay so next video we will be working on navigation so i'll see you guys in the next video